Okay, good. I'm just going to take a written question that somebody gave uh, uh, from, I think, from the female area, which was uh, for you, Stephen. What consultation did you do with the community when you appointed Mr. Kafar Hussein as the prevent manager for Newham? Uh, that, I think that's the council matter rather than the Yeah, again, our brothers do not just ancestral. I actually volunteered to answer this question, not like Ben Stephen, okay? Uh, I know something about this because some people, including friends of mine, have asked me about this particular appointment. Now, let me tell you how firstly council appointments work, all right? And so it's going to do with community consultation. Community consultation, community consultation is about policies, about stuff like parking and so on. The way the council office appointed, they appointed in two ways. And, and, and this is all over the country, and, and, and it's by law that the procedures, frameworks in place. The directors, the very senior people, are appointed by councillors. Uh, you know, uh, there's appointments panel. It's all on the web. You can check it out. Yeah, who's? Uh, and I'm not an appointments panel, so I don't think I'm that important. A councillor, uh, maybe. Then there are other appointments that, 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 that are made by council managers, the middle-ranking council structures, uh, officers, and so on, the junior officers. Uh, they're all important, that's what I'm concerned, but the question is who appoints who? Councillors are not appointed directly with, uh, 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 you know, with all appointments. They cannot even veto it. We are not allowed to. We would actually be fall foul of the Code of Conduct, the Standards Committee. There are strict rules that actually prevent councillors interfering in many, many parts of, of, of the operation of the council. This particular appointment uh, was actually, uh, 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 it was advertised, uh, was it advertised? It was said, yeah, it, yeah, it was external application. Uh, the person, many people applied. The person was interviewed by council officers, uh, overseen by the Home Office because the Home Office funded program, and uh, he was appointed on that basis. Now, if there were any concerns about anything, it should be addressed to the chief executive. I I've already made that very clear to people who have spoken to me. But it's not a, uh, it's not a, a councillor's appointment. It was done through the normal processes that any council uses to employ uh, 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 to officers. No, I appreciate that. But yeah. the worry for us yeah. is that um, uh, this, this gentleman, Gafar Hussain, is an ex-managing director of Quilliam Foundation. Yeah. Yeah. The Quilliam Foundation has an association and is funded by Henry Jackson Society, which is a neocon right-wing organization. Their, uh, their, yeah, founder, yeah. their founder is Majid Nawaz, who many of you would have seen in the newspapers as hit them. Yes, yes, I saw that this morning. So, so there is a clear agenda. Yes. There is a clear agenda that's going on there. Our question to, and I don't think you can hide behind a chief executive role, is what is the thought process going behind those who are recruiting when they put somebody so divisive mm. in a community where a large Muslim mm. population mm. is? He is meant to be somebody who is the liaison before between yeah. prevent yeah. and the community. He's going to have to go and speak to organisations, sure. mosques. Yeah. He's not going to be okay. welcomed, and if he is, he's got an oh, agenda oh, oh. that is against oh, yeah. sure. mainstream Islam. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Please don't clap in his mosque, please. His <laughs> mosque. Yeah. Yeah, well, what I would say, brother, what, what, what I say, brother, is that when officers appoint, there's, there's, uh, and all this, you know, uh, what do you call, is a matter of record, who sits on the panel, right, uh, the Home Office funds, as everyone know. Now, politically, we've got a very different approach to prevent. I reject prevent as a spying tool. For me, prevent is about education, it's about bringing communities together, it's about making sure that another generation, that we do not lose, uh, lose people. The cause may be right, and people, you know, feel very strong about various things, but it's how we address those various concerns through democratic processes, getting involved in, in, in political processes, and so on. Yeah. Now, coming to this particular appointment, all right, if there is an example that you can show to the chief executive of how this person is working in the community, uh, and that's wrong and it's causing division in the community, and I'm sure the chief executive will look at it. I can already show you his track record. I can't yeah. tell you what he's done. He's already yeah. been here for two months. My, my issue... No, he's been here for longer than that. He's been here for six months now. Well, maybe now six months. Six but months. I mean, and, 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 and all I can say is, all I can say is that we get work reports, right? We've not had any particular complaints about him working in practice. No, right? I mean, that's... The only complaint has been... No, 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 it's not a complaint even. It's a Socialist Workers' Party. 
who use Islamophobia as a tool to actually increase their membership, these people have got nothing in common with, without the fighting Islamophobia. I will fight Islamophobia and anti-Semitism and so will Stephen, but the Socialist Workers' Party is a communist party that has got its own agenda. They, they, they are at, New, at Newbury College and they are the ones who have been causing tensions. They are trying to use the issue of Palestine to radicalize young students, young Muslim students, and take them in the wrong direction, whereas what we want them to do is to get involved in democratic processes, whether it's the Labour Party, the Tory Party, any other party, or no party, and try to influence people like Stephen, uh, who spoke out in favor of a Palestinian state. Uh, it's actually in our election literature, by the way. You maybe should say something about this, Stephen. That's how we actually address issues, yeah? So, so what we need is not this guy's past record, it's how this person is working in New York. I, I mean, I'm not sure that's logical, to be honest, because when you're, if, if an extreme preacher comes and applies for that position, he won't get that position because of his past history. So you can't say past history is irrelevant. But I, I think we're maybe going to differ on this issue. I don't know if, Stephen, you want to mention a few points with, rela with regards to prevent in New York. Um, well, uh, I think the, the, the main issues that have been <coughs> raised with me around prevent um, is the legislation that was rather rushed through the House of Commons uh, recently um, to sort of impose a statutory obligation uh, in some of the areas where there's just been guidance in the past. Now, I have a, quite a lot of correspondence about that. It, because it was all rushed through, and basically gone through the House of Commons before people fully understood, I think, what was going on, and certainly before I started to receive correspondence about it, it does seem to me that the next government is going to have to look pretty carefully at some of that legislation, and there may well be bits of it which should not proceed. Is, is the Labour Party committed to reviewing the prevent strategy? We will, we will, certainly, we will certainly review the, the legislation, yes, we'll, we'll have to do that, I think. 